and we're back again and in this video I'm going to be uh, mastering something that may take a bit more finesse uh, and we'll just take a listen to it now right so uh, not a whole lot of movement but what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to just drop in an EQ to quickly balance everything. So this is a worst case scenario. Uh, typically you want to do, you want to make it sound good and balanced in the mix, not so much in mastering, but it is possible. You can't necessarily polish a turd, but we're going to have fun and we're going to figure this out. I'm going to explain it. Uh, so I'm going to stick to analog because it adds cool stuff. So that is a low shelf. So I want to kind of prime it so uh, it has a, kind of a good balance and uh, there's plenty of headroom and you know this might bite me in the ass later but I'm just going to kind of achieve an overall balance and then we're going to get into dynamics. So that's good. Uh, we're going to plop in some dynamics now, uh, and we're going to refine, refine it into a fine mist. What I should really focus on is this punch right here. Two to one, always good. So I'm going to increase the release. It's very smooth. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to accumulate all of this reduction to smooth it out. So let's check it out. Check out what that sounds like now. Right, that kick. Here, I'll turn it up. For myself, not for you. Uh, that kick. Uh, with this bypassed, it sounds like like you're kicking a plastic garbage can, right? You can hear it. Just listen. Right, it's entirely too loud, and it's unmixed. Uh, well, it's not mixed very well on purpose. Uh, but with it, uh, I'll just bypass and unbypass, and you can hear what I'm talking about. Right, we got a little bit better. What's 
going on this high end here? Compressors should always dance, in my opinion. And if we're doing stuff like that, just increase the release. All right. the ratio here just because it's too intense for my ears anyway all right so let's uh, bypass and unbypass that Let's see how far we've come uh, with a simple EQ and uh, uh, multiband processing. Right here. There's a bit more movement there. Uh, what I want to do is I want to add a subtle uh, single band compressor. So I'll just uh, remove bands, remove, remove, remove. Right. So now we have uh, our cool guy here. Set it to a nice four to one. Right. So you see those little jaggies there? Uh, you can't really see them because they're moving. That means you need to increase the release. It's, it smooths that out. If I have like a really fast release, you can see it and it just sounds unnatural. So many jaggies. To avoid that, increase the release. It makes the compressor a bit more transparent and it and you won't get distortion. Alright, so uh, with all those, I'll just turn them on and off one more time and then we'll continue with uh, our fun things. So now we've, we've squished it and it's audi audibly squished, but it's a lot more easy to work with now. Um, so I'm going to look at uh, the EQ, see what's going on. Roll off that bass that we added just a little bit. When you see me moving uh, the EQ around, I'm doing basically what I call priming my ears. Priming my ears to be able to listen for the change because if I'm just like, uh, and I just move it, and I'm very timid, I, I'll, I'll be doing this all day and I won't hear the change. But if I know what to hear, so I'll give you an example of priming. So like I'll, I'll boost this. So I know what I'm changing and then I can boost accordingly, if that makes any sense. So, oops. Oh, I messed up. There we go. What are you doing? There we go. So I'm just going to see what I'm doing. Can't obviously hear it, but I'll be able to hear changes if I'm affecting anything that I'm, I'm deeming not, you know, too neat. Let's excite. Let's get excited. 
I'm not going to touch the low end because I don't, I don't, because I've I spent so long kind of taming it. I don't want to, you know, fuzz it up again. All right. So you want to listen to it soloed the band soloed then you want to listen to it in context So now let's just see what our stereo image is doing. Want to mono that low end? We want to tame that guy. It's good to have this spread. Distortion's adding things I don't like. There, I'll just kind of lean back. So now uh, I guess I'll just uh, maximize. We have a lot of RMS to make up for. So this track really wants to sound loud. And you know, in a time to this, you want it to kind of be as loud as it wants to be and not too much you know uh the house and stuff like that i guess around like 10 and 12. and uh inner sample detection on and then yeah i guess we are done really um yeah i guess uh i guess that's basically it and it's been it's been fun. All right, take care and hope you learn stuff. Loudness. <laughs>